Here Allison was an interpreter during Prophet TB Joshua's crusade in Colombia in 2014. my people how are you all doing i hope you all are doing okay i hope you all are feeling great my people win today win tomorrow and my people you all should be winning all the time i'm so 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 happy today the news i got yesterday i'm just like wow i'm very very happy that bava chris uh is getting married Brother Chris made the announcement yesterday that he is getting married. Brother Chris and his wife focused on the work of God. They both surrendered their hearts completely to God. God has merged them together. So what God has joined together, my people, you all shouldn't put us on that. Oh, nobody should put us on that, please. I know the haters will talk. Let them talk. The haters will surely talk that the disciples of uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua are marrying one another. So what? The devil you know is better than the devil you don't know. I don't mean that. Um, I don't mean that uh, Brother Chris doesn't like Alison, but for the fact that they both uh, lived under the same roof in Synagogue Church of All Nations for some years. Chris would have known um, Evangelist Allison a wee bit. So my people, say congratulations to them in the comment page. Thank you so much for watching this video. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. May God continue to guide and shelter you all in Jesus' name. My people, in this video below the title, you will see Super Thanks button. Click the Super Thanks, my people, to support this channel with any amount of money you can afford. It's really hard sometimes, you know, to compile the videos just by myself alone due to my other work schedules. So to continue to help us to upload more videos, I need your support. Any amount you can afford will help this channel to be uploading more videos. Thank you very much. God bless you. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains a favor from the Lord. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 22. Prophet Chris and Evangelist uh, Allison both met for the first time when Allison was an interpreter in one of the crusades that uh, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua held in uh, Colombia in South America. She later decided to join Scorn in Lagos as a servant of God under the mentorship of God's servant, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. She also used this opportunity to help Mama Evening Joshua. That woman really tried. All these people that stayed in Synagogue Church of All Nations, she was the one that looked after them. Woman of the house, she has to cook. You know, she has to, you know, you know, you know prepare what the family is going to eat. You know, because the, the Senior Prophet TV Joshua and Mama Evelyn Joshua took all these people as their own children. They looked after them. They catered for them. Even if it's a cup of water they gave to all these people, they really tried. You know, it's not easy. Woman, uh, Mama Evening Joshua looked after men and women. She looked after them, you know, without, you know, any problems for years. Mama Evening Joshua, may God bless you, my sister. May God continue to strengthen you. It's not easy. You did a very good job that, you know, some women may not even be able to do it. You did a very good job. Look after all of these people. You did so well. May God continue to look after you too, you know, and your family. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So, as I was saying, anybody, any of the, you know, SCORN members or SCORN, you know, evangelists, 
that have seen any of his colleagues that he he or she wants to marry. My people, go 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 ahead and marry. Don't listen to what people will say because people will surely talk. You see, people they can never stop talking. Whether you do good or whether you do bad thing, they will still talk. So the best thing for you is to do what will make you happy, not what will please others. If you know what will make you happy, that is what you will go for. If you have seen a woman among your colleagues in synagogue, church of all nations, or any other religion that you fancy, you feel that, oh, this is the right person for me. My dear, go for it. Don't listen. Don't even mind what people will say. People will talk. They never stop talking. Even if you go and marry somebody that is, that is outside your religion, they will still talk. So what is the point? So the thing is that do what will make you happy, right? As brother Chris is going to marry Alison. I know people say, oh, maybe they have been dating before. This man, uh, prophet Chris, he's still a virgin. He has never been in any sexual relationship before, as he said. That's the way I understand it. He said he has never been in a sexual, a romantic relationship before. So this one could be his first romantic relationship. So people think that hey, maybe everybody in synagogue church of all nations there, maybe they are sleeping with one another. Some people get dirty minds. Their mind is so dirty that what they are doing, they think other people are doing it. I saw one video some, somebody posted in the past that, you know, some people, they are committing uh, an abortion. They are doing this. They are doing that. What sort of arrant rubbish is that? Eh? The people are talking all these things, you know, just to condemn Synagogue Church of All Nations. Why not shut your mouth up? If you do not have any good thing to say about Synagogue, mm -hmm. dear, there is no point to talk. Talk what you know. Don't say what you don't know. Eh? I know people will be doing videos up and down, up and down. So what? If Chris will marry Alison, eh? Uh -huh. What the name ma? It's good. It's good. At least Chris has seen Alison very well. He fancies Alison. Alison fancies uh, 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 Chris. So what is your problem there? Do you want him to come and marry you? Eh? Now what for now? These people say, you know, you do this one, it's not good. You do that one, it's not good. It, so is it better for Chris to be single or Alison to be single? My brother, congratulations, my dear. God bless your union. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. The evil ones will never see you. The bad bellies will never see you. The, you know, the broken hearted will never see you because I just believe that all these people that don't like to see good things, they are so, their heart is so broken. They will never see you, bro. Thank God say you day far away from them, you know, so they will never reach you. Even if they, they, they fly, they, they can't touch you. They can't touch Alison. I cover you with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen.